Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to set up and configure RepRap Disk on full graphics smart controller with 12864 LCD screen for Marlin 118. I started with opening the bag and connecting the display. Testing the wiring revealed that the wiring wasn't working. After some googling I discovered that a common problem with the board is to have Malex connector flipped. The plastic notches that supposed to prevent the connectors from being wired incorrectly now prevented them from working. I attempted to fix that by disassembling the connectors and flipping the ribbon cables. That worked. However, after the procedure the connectors proved to be flimsy. The display lit up, but it did not show anything. I followed the instructions from RepRap Wiki and installed u 8 glib underscore Arduino library then enable the variable reprap underscore discount underscore full underscore graphic underscore smart underscore controller in configuration.h. After compilation and upload, the display came alive. I assembled the screen into a shell, which I found on Thingiverse. I couldn't find out how to remove the knob from the screen, so I updated the OpenSCAD model to make a bigger hole. I did not want to print several parts of the original mount for the screen. Also, I did not have proper hardware for it, so I designed this pack to attach the screen to a 20mm V-slot at 30 degrees with a 10mm M5 bolt and a T-nut. That's all you get. 30 degrees. That's all you'll ever need. I attached the back of the shell to the adapter, checked the distance to the heated bed, then inserted the screen and installed the shell. I had to remove the screen assembly from the printer in order to tighten all of the screws at the back. To make display connection more reliable, I ended up finding another set of wires from another display that never worked. I removed the notches with a knife and flipped the ribbon cables. This setup is definitely better than what I had. After several attempts trying to use the display to print anything, I realized that the menu system didn't have any options mentioning anything to do with SD cards. It turned out that the variable SD support needs to be enabled in configuration.h. After compiling and updating the firmware, I inserted the card and Marlin was able to read and print from it. While I was fixing SD card config, I also set pin configuration through motherboard variable at the top of configuration.h to board mks13 instead of the default board underscore ramps underscore 14 underscore efp. By the way, all of the motherboard definitions can be found in boards.h. This has nothing to do with screen config but might prevent some errors in the future. The firmware is using pinout specific to MKS Gen 1.3, 1.4, or maybe higher, instead of the generic RAMS 